Do you want to feel better faster? I'm going to give you a tool from my coaching business to help you do that. I'm not really an advocate for just switching emotions. We call that buffering, like moving from an emotion you don't want to feel and like scrolling TikTok for a while so you can feel a different emotion. That's bypassing the emotion. It's still chemically in your body and we need to process it. But I am an advocate for not staying stuck in emotions. And so I'm going to give you the tool that I teach my clients so you can move out of an emotion into another emotion and feel differently. The basis is this is from neuroscience, which shows that our thoughts, which create a chemical reaction, neurotransmitters are released, and that chemical reaction is a vibration in our body. We call it a feeling and emotion. So if our thoughts create our emotions, then we have to go to our thoughts to feel better. So here's how I do it. I get a piece of paper out, like a journal, okay? And then I take less than 30 minutes. Probably this can only take you 10 minutes, honestly. And what you wanna do is just do a brain dump. Write down basically one word sentences. Like, I don't know, here's from mine today. The despair is crushing. I'm beginning to feel hopeless. I'm lonely. I am unmotivated. I'm just going through the motions. Right? You just write down all your thoughts. Could be emotions, like I'm feeling this, I'm experiencing this, okay? From there, after you've listed out all these thoughts that you're just getting out of your head, I want you to write down, what does this make you feel? So I could see, I feel defeated. That was the emotion, the E-line, that I'm feeling. Based on that emotion then, we go to how do I behave? So let's go to the board so I can show you this really quickly. Okay, so you've already dumped out your thoughts on a piece of paper. And then you've asked yourself on all these thoughts, kind of what is the one emotion I'm feeling? The one emotion I was feeling was defeated. Okay, so then you ask yourself, when I feel defeated, How do I behave? What do I do? What are my actions? What are my inactions? How do I behave? And that was a whole, like a list of like 10 things for me. So scroll social media. Um, Compare and despair. Um... Let's see here. Not posting. Procrastination. So I listed out, and there's a list of 11. Um, Act like a victim was one of them. And I just kept listing all of the things I just, I noticed how I was behaving, what I was doing, what I was not doing. I was circling and comparing despair loops. I was getting on social media, right? So list all that out. How am I behaving? This is creating awareness for yourself. So you know, when I'm feeling defeated, this is more than likely how I'm going to show up and behave. Okay. From there, you're going to go then to the R line, the results line. So then you ask yourself, okay, based on how I'm behaving and what's going on, what are the results that are happening in my life right now? I know I'm not creating value. Um, I'm not creating opportunities for others to connect. Okay. I'm shaming myself that could go in the A-line as well, but I can just, I had to get to that point of seeing like, what are my current results? Like I feel a lot of shame right now. Okay. Okay. From there, then you can ask yourself, I see what I'm feeling. I see how I'm behaving. I see the results it's producing in my life right now. A lot of shame. So, I then ask, what thought is I, what am I really thinking? That thought may be in your thought download that you did at the very beginning. For me, it typically doesn't pop up. 
But when I saw the results, I saw, I just saw so clearly, it's like, oh, the thought is, I'm never going to make this work. And that thought makes me feel defeated. Okay. So we've got now to the thought that's creating the emotion, that's driving the action, that's creating the results. Then I can go back up to my S line. So the S line is situation. What is the situation? Um, for me, it was today's mood. Okay. How I felt today. So situations are always neutral. They're factual. It's circumstances. Things that are outside of us. Typically, we have a thought about them. But I found that this way is so much easier to go through this. Is when you just start with a thought download. Okay, how am I feeling? What, are, what is this? all these thoughts making me feel? Defeated. How do I behave when I feel this way? Here's all my actions. What results is this creating, right? Not creating value. And then your T line is always going to end up in your R line, my friends. Okay. So I can look at this and be like, I'm never going to make this work. And in my R line, I'm not making it work. I'm not doing the work. Okay, so from there, I can see very well how I am behaving and why I have the results I have. And I can see where my thought is ending up in my R line. So I then from there, and you don't have to do this, but this is just how what works for me. And it like creates such great awareness and awareness always equals empowerment. Because then I see how I'm creating this. And I can also see how I can create something different. It gives me my power back. So I ask myself, is it true that this isn't working? Okay, if this is the results and this is that sentence, I'm never going to make this work. I'm never going to make this work. And I have to go and ask myself, like, is this a true sentence? Like, because most of our thoughts are subjective interpretation. Like, could I prove this in a court of law? And I just started writing down, is this a true? And I was like, no, it is working. I'm not working, but it is working. I have consults. I have clients. People are DMing me. I have a group right now that has members in it. I have consults set up. It is working. But based on this, I'm not working. So then I can move into a new model. And my new model was... It is working even if I believe otherwise. And based on that thought, I can feel, and what emotion does that make me feel? Hopeful. How do I behave when I feel hopeful? I make a post to serve people. I invite people, etc. What results does this create for me when I have this thought? It is working even if I believe otherwise. I feel successful when I, whatever I accomplish that day, it makes me feel successful. I showed up and I put in effort, okay? I feel grounded and empowered. So this is how you can feel better. It's not about checking out and avoiding the emotions. It's about intentionally thinking what you want to think and creating awareness as to, okay, I'm not feeling great. What? What's going on in here that's creating this emotional experience that I'm currently having? So again, to recap for you, do a thought download. Just write down all your, on a piece of paper, all your thoughts that you're feeling. And then ask yourself, what is it, all your thoughts that you're experiencing? What am I feeling? What do these make me feel? What emotion? Put it in the E-line. And then ask yourself, when I feel this way, how do I behave? What do I do? What actions do I do? What inactions do I take? Create awareness for yourself. And then what results is this creating for me? And being honest, like this, the, my current reality is my results. This is what it's creating. Okay, now like what thought is creating this? Can I see very clearly what's creating this? Oh yeah, that thought. So then you can see the model played out. 
And then you can ask yourself, is this thought true? Where, where's the facts in this? Or how is this not factually true? So your brain will be willing to let go of it. So you can choose a different thought. I hope this is helpful. This is a very powerful tool. I use it with all my clients. Um, this is how they learn how to start self-coaching themselves. So then they can be empowered and not have to depend on a coach. They can coach themselves through things. And this is life-changing. So if you have questions, please reply to the email um, and let me know what questions you have. I'm offering um, a 30-minute free call just to like coach through the model for you, help you get a little bit more clear. Um, no sales, no pressure, just a free introductory call. The link is in this email too. So if you're really interested and want to take me up on it, for sure, schedule your appointment. Um, and I hope this is helpful for you guys. Have a great day.